A uniform round object of mass capital M and radius capital R is placed on a flat surface with initial angular speed 2 omega 0 as well as initial linear speed omega 0 R. The coefficient of friction between the object and the surface is mu. At what time does the object start rolling without slipping? The moment of inertia of the object about its center of mass is capital M R squared. Now, as you can see, because I have a rotation with angular speed 2 omega 0, there will be a velocity component uh, 2 omega 0 r to the left. And because of the translational uh, speed, there will be omega 0 r to the right. So this tells me that there is a contact velocity Vc, uh, which is... Uh, minus omega 0 r i hat initially so therefore uh, i must have kinetic friction points in plus i hat direction okay so uh, when i consider the velocity of the contact point i find that the kinetic friction must be pointing in plus i hat direction okay the net force acting on this round object is its mass capital m times the acceleration of the center of mass which is equal to the kinetic friction force that is coefficient of kinetic friction mu multiplied with the normal force capital m g so I see that I have an acceleration of the center of mass, uh, which is mu times g, and it actually points in I hat direction. So if I consider the velocity of the center of mass, it will be increasing in time from v0, which is omega 0 r, to v0 plus a center of mass times t. So it will be equal to omega 0 r plus mu g t at time t. On the other hand, if I consider the net torque acting on this object, uh, because of this uh, kinetic friction here, we feel a torque. And this is our uh, position vector of the application point of the force. So r cross f uh, gives us a torque uh, in k hat direction. So this is going to give us capital R uh, times kinetic friction force in k hat direction, which is equal to the moment of inertia with respect to center of mass times the alpha vector. So alpha will be R mu mg our kinetic friction divided by I center of mass that's given in the problem as capital M R squared uh, in K hat direction. So alpha is mu G over capital R in K hat direction. So you can see that I have R's cancelling and M's cancelling. Okay, so the angular speed is changing as a function of time it was 2 omega 0 at time t is equal to 0 you can see that the uh, angular velocity is in minus k hat direction so this is going to be minus alpha t so the direction of alpha here is plus k hat which is causing a, a counterclockwise rotation whereas the initial rotation uh, here the sense of the initial rotation uh, here was in clockwise direction. So clockwise my, um, and counterclockwise alpha. So this gives me 2 omega 0 minus mu g over capital R t. Now what happens when it is rolling without slipping? At t equals t final, it is rolling without slipping 
and at this point I must have the relationship um, the velocity of the center of mass at t final must be equal to omega at t final multiplied with r so that's the meaning of rolling without slipping the center of mass velocity at t final is omega zero r plus uh, mu g t final and r times omega t final is 2 omega 0 r minus mu g t final so we can see that 2 mu g t final is equal to omega 0 r so 2 omega 0 r minus omega 0 r and therefore t final is omega 0 r divided by 2 mu times g. So that will be the time it takes to reach the condition for rolling without slipping. The condition for rolling without slipping is velocity of the center of mass is uh, omega times capital R. So here it was not the case. It, uh, the contact velocity initially was pointing uh, to the left. That means it is uh, backward slipping. And now it reaches the condition of rolling without slipping. V center of mass is equal to omega times R.